Hello, my name is Joy Jackson, and I would like to start off by saying, please bear with me because there are no words that can do Emma Harkavy justice and perfectly capturing just how wonderful she is. One quality that stands out the most to me about her is her dedication. Every single morning, Emma gets to school bright and early to watch over the middle schoolers in the library. While I'm sprinting into a study room every morning to finish my homework, I always pass by a cool, calm, and collected Emma who never fails to send a smile my way. I've gotten to know Emma not only through classes, but also after years of being locker neighbors with someone, you get to know a person pretty well. Emma is smart, kind, driven, strong, and the class of 2019 is fortunate to have a girl like her in our midst. Emma is a talented trap shooter, an aspiring neuropsychologist, a powerful actress, and most importantly, a great person and friend. I know we are all anticipating what Emma has to say today, so without any more delay, please welcome Emma Ray Harkavy. This past summer, I had the pleasure of volunteering at Camp Dream Street, a sleepaway camp for kids with physical disabilities. My camper had cerebral palsy, which caused her to not be able to move very much, be nonverbal, and eat from a feeding tube. You may or may not know that I too have cerebral palsy, but I'm affected in a different way. My cerebral palsy causes me to have low tone or weaker muscles and affects my eyes because they have to work harder to hold still. For me, my biggest challenges include activities that require running, jumping, climbing, and activities where depth perception plays a major role. Since my camper and I face challenges that might seem easy to many people, we have to celebrate the little victories and accomplishments, even if they may not seem like much. Since my camper could not move very much due to the stiffness of her muscles, it was hard for her to do many of the activities at camp. Even though this was the case, my co-counselor Maddie and I found ways for her to still have fun and just be a kid at camp. She did not like being in the middle of huge crowds or when someone talked on the microphone. One day for a special activity, a gardener came to camp to help the campers learn about gardening. Since the gardener had to use a microphone, Maddie and I could tell that our camper was not enjoying the activity. One of the occupational therapists that volunteers at camp came up to us and asked if our camper might like to play with bubbles in a quieter space. Both Maddie and I were confused how she would be able to interact with Bubbles since she could not move very much or speak. Even so, we decided to take the Bubbles into a quieter area and try them out. At first, we were simply blowing the Bubbles at her, but we could tell that she wanted to try and pop them because she kept moving her arm a little. Since we saw this, the next time I blew a bubble, I caught it on the wand and brought it over to her hand so that it popped. I then saw the biggest smile on her face, so Maddie and I repeated this for a few minutes. Then we wanted to see if maybe she would move her arm a little to pop the bubble on her own. We started by holding the wand with the bubble on it a few inches from her hand, while one of us moved her hand to pop the bubble. After doing this a few times, we held the bubble a few inches from her hand and slowly but surely, she moved her hand to pop the bubble all on her own. She started laughing and also said the word bubble for the first time, which was another big accomplishment since she is nonverbal. She started laughing as we continued blowing and popping bubbles and had the biggest smile on her face. You might be thinking, all she did was pop bubbles, but to her and to us, this was a huge victory because in this hour, she moved her arms more than she had the whole camp. For her and to us, this was a big accomplishment, and in that moment, we could tell that our camper felt extraordinary. For me, the hardest challenges involve using my legs. This past summer, I was in Israel for five weeks. In Israel, there's a famous mountain called Masada, and one of the paths is called the Snake Path because it is very steep and narrow, and it winds up the side of a mountain. I found out that we would climb up this path one morning to see the sunrise. I was very nervous that I would not be able to make it up the mountain because my legs would not stop shaking due to my low tone muscles. Even though I barely called her the whole trip, I even called my mom the night before the hike 
because I was so nervous that I would get stuck on the way up. The morning arrived and I felt sick. My fear was that my legs would not be strong enough to make it up and that I would simply be stuck on the side of the mountain. We started to climb and my friends were supporting me at the start of the hike, but I was moving at a much slower pace, so I told them they could go ahead of me. My counselor stayed with me the whole time and we took it step by step. Midway through the hike, my legs did start shaking and becoming very heavy, making it hard to move, but I continued to push through. Finally, when I made it to the top, I fell to the ground because my legs were shaking so much. All of my friends, who had probably been up the mountain for about 15 minutes already, came up to me and hugged and congratulated me. I felt so accomplished after, even though to many, climbing a mountain may not seem like much. For me, this was a huge victory because many people with cerebral palsy are not able to say that they have climbed a steep mountain. I challenge you to embrace your victories and wins, even if they might seem small. Everyone is facing a different struggle that makes certain tasks harder, but whatever the challenge may be, you should celebrate the victory that comes with it. Whether it be something as simple as popping bubbles or climbing a mountain, you have accomplished something that defies the odds of what you thought you could do. So, from now on, whenever you do something that you did not think you could do, even if it might seem small, you should think to yourself, I did that. I defied the odds. I am extraordinary. Thank you.